Hello and welcome to this video where we will explore some of the most incredible discoveries of September 2023. These discoveries will amaze you and make you wonder what else is out there waiting to be found. So sit back, relax and enjoy this journey through time and space. We first head to Zambia where archaeologists have made a stunning discovery of the oldest wooden structure in the world dating to 476,000 years ago. This remarkable finding reveals the ingenuity and technical prowess of our ancient relatives who were able to craft and interlock tree trunks like Lincoln Logs. The wooden structure which may have been used as a raised platform, walkway or foundation for dwellings, shows that woodworking might predate the emergence of our own species and highlights the intelligence of our Harmonin ancestors. The wooden structure was preserved at the bottom of the Colombo River, a site that has been investigated by scientists since the 1950s and has yielded stone tools, preserved pollen and other wooden artifacts that have helped researchers understand more about human evolution and culture over hundreds of thousands of years. The wooden structure is composed of two logs that were chopped and scraped to make a notch enabling them to snugly fit together. The researchers used luminescence dating of sand samples from the site to estimate the age of the wooden structure which is the oldest evidence yet of a wooden construction shaped by the hands of a human ancestor. The researchers suggest that this evidence allows us to consider different materials used by harmonins including those that left traces and those that are perishable. This discovery is truly incredible and challenges our previous assumptions about the nomadic foragers who lived at Colombo in the Middle Pleistocene. Next, we dive into the Mediterranean coast of Egypt where underwater archaeologists have discovered a sunken temple and a sanctuary brimming with ancient treasures linked to the god Amun and the goddess Aphrodite. The temple, which partially collapsed during a cataclysmic event in the mid-2nd century BC, was originally built for the god Amun, the supreme god of the ancient Egyptian pantheon. The temple was so important that pharaohs went there to receive from Amun the titles of their power as universal kings. The temple was part of the ancient port city of Thonis Heracleion which was destroyed when a major earthquake and tidal waves caused the land to liquefy and sink into the Nile Delta. While exploring the temple, archaeologists unearthed a number of treasures and secrets including silver-made ritual instruments, gold jewellery and alabaster containers once used to hold perfumes or greasy ointments. They also found underground structures supported by well-preserved wooden posts and beams that dated to the 5th century BC. The archaeologists said that this discovery revealed the rich cultural diversity and interactions that existed in ancient Egypt. Then, we travel to the Mediterranean island of Malta where archaeological divers have recovered human remains from the wreck of a US bomber that crashed near the island in May 1943. The remains have been identified as those of US Army Air Forces Sergeant Irving R. Newman who was 22 years old when the aircraft, a B-24 Liberator based in Libya suffered engine trouble and was hit by anti-aircraft fire during a bombing raid over the southern tip of Italy. The bomber then tried to reach Malta, an emergency landing site for Allied aircraft in trouble but the aircraft lost power as it approached the island. Nine of the bomber's crew survived the crash landing on the water's surface. They tried to rescue Newman who had been injured by anti-aircraft fire but the aircraft sank after a few minutes taking Newman with it. The wreck now lies about a mile off Malta's southernmost point, about 190 feet beneath the water's surface. The divers also recovered a 50mm machine gun and other artifacts but the main aim of the project was to locate and recover the missing airman. This discovery is truly incredible and honours the memory of a brave airman who gave his life for freedom. We then head to Israel at the archaeological site of Telephone Shimron, where archaeologists have unearthed a mysterious Canaanite arch and vaulted stairway sealed inside a well-preserved mud brick building that dates to 3,800 years ago during the Middle Bronze Age. The arch is corbelled, meaning the vault was created by offsetting bricks like an inverted staircase rather than with wedge-shaped stones which are typically used to build true arches. This so-called false arch and stairway stands more than 16 feet tall and includes around 9,000 bricks. The newly excavated building, which sits within the ancient Acropolis of Telephone Shimron in the fertile Jezreel Valley may have served a cultic function as they discovered a seven-cup pottery artifact known as a Nahariya bowl, which was used for ritual offerings in the Middle Bronze Age. Having dug their way past the arch, archaeologists came upon stairs leading deeper underground and beyond the building's walls. The stairway could take years to excavate, because it likely extends beneath other fragile Bronze Age ruins that might collapse if they remove the soil. Until they find a way to safely excavate the enigmatic stairway, archaeologists have reburied the passageway and arch to protect them from damage. 
This discovery is truly incredible and reveals the secrets of an ancient civilization that still fascinates us today. We now return to the ancient land of Egypt where archaeologists have made a significant discovery within Sahura's pyramid. The exploration has unearthed a number of storage rooms that had not been documented before. This discovery sheds new light on the architecture of the pyramid of Sahura, the second king of the fifth dynasty and the first king to be buried at Abusir. The conservation and restoration project inside Sahura's pyramid, initiated in 2019 and supported by the Antiquities Endowment Fund aimed to safeguard the substructure of Sahura's pyramid. The team's efforts focused on cleaning the interior rooms, stabilizing the pyramid from inside and preventing further collapse. In the process, the team succeeded in securing the pyramid's burial chambers which had previously been inaccessible. The discovery and restoration of the storerooms is expected to revolutionize the view of historical development of pyramid structures and challenge existing paradigms in the field. This discovery is truly incredible and reveals the secrets of an ancient civilization that still fascinates us today. We now travel to China where archaeologists have discovered the tomb of Emperor Xiaomin of northern Zhou near Xianyang City. Emperor Xiaomin, whose birth name was Yu Wenju, was the founder of the Xiebei-led northern Zhou dynasty of China that lasted from AD 557 to 581. He was one of the northern dynasties of China's northern and southern dynasties period, and he succeeded the Western Wei dynasty. However, he was soon deposed and killed by his cousin, Yu Wenhu, who seized power. Archaeologists conducting excavations adjacent to the airport expressway in Xianyang City have uncovered the tomb of Emperor Xiaomin, designated Tomb M655. The tomb contains a single chamber at a depth of 10 meters, containing disturbed funerary offerings such as ceramic vessels and figurines depicting warriors, cavalry units, a camel and indiscernible creatures. The team also discovered an epitaph stone with an inscription that confirms the identity of the tomb owner. The archaeological discovery of Yu Wenju's tomb from the Northern Zhou dynasty is of great significance. It is the second Northern Zhou Emperor's tomb that has been excavated after the Shaoling Mausoleum of Emperor Wu of the Northern Zhou dynasty. The tomb reveals new information about the architecture, burial customs and political history of the Northern Zhou dynasty and its relations with other cultures. The tomb also provides valuable material evidence for the study of the Xiebei people, who played an important role in the formation and development of Chinese civilization. This discovery is truly incredible and reveals the secrets of an ancient emperor who ruled over a turbulent era. Next, we head to the ancient city of Pompeii where archaeologists have uncovered several electoral inscriptions, the ancient equivalent of today's electoral posters and pamphlets on the walls of the room that housed the Lararium, the domestic altar of the house inside a house on the Via Dinola. The inscriptions reveal the practice of political clientelism in ancient Rome, which consisted of promising favors in exchange for votes. The inscriptions support a candidate for the position of aedile, a type of councillor who was in charge of public works. The candidate's name was Aulus Rustius Verus, who later became the highest public official in Pompeii along with Julio Polybius, the owner of a splendid house on the Avenue of Abundance. The fact that they were found inside the house was surprising because normally these inscriptions were placed on the exterior facades of buildings where citizens could read the names and qualifications of the candidates. The archaeologists explain that the presence of electoral propaganda inside the house indicates that the practice of organizing events and dinners inside the homes of the candidates and their friends to promote the electoral campaign was common. The archaeological discovery of these electoral inscriptions and votive offerings from Pompeii is of great significance. It reveals new information about the social and political life of ancient Romans and their religious beliefs and practices. We now travel to the Cave of the Bats in southwest Spain, where a team of scientists has discovered and analyzed the first direct evidence of basketry among hunter-gatherer societies and early farmers in southern Europe, dating from 9,500 to 6,200 years ago. The intricate baskets and shoes found show that people living in Europe thousands of years ago were skilled at weaving objects from plant fibers. The cave's excavations have revealed several mummified corpses alongside objects including baskets, sandals and a wooden hammer. This site is one of the most emblematic archaeological sites of prehistoric times in the Iberian Peninsula due to the unique preservation of organic materials found there. We now travel to the ancient Maya city of Kabar where archaeologists have discovered a palace that shares characteristics with ruins in neighboring Guatemala. The palace was found in the archaeological zone of Kabar, a pre-Hispanic settlement located in the Puuc region of Yucatan state, south of the modern city of Merida. 
The palace has a main facade composed of a portico with eight pilasters and nine openings, as well as an extension of 85 feet. The palace was decorated with motifs of feathers, beads and birds that were carved into its architecture. Researchers think the roof of the building was made with a perishable material, such as guano palm, which has not survived. The palace is more than 1,500 years old and has been named Petanero Palace by the researchers. The palace was discovered by the team in advance of the Maya Train Railroad Project, a 930-mile railway that will traverse the Yucatan Peninsula. Finally, we explore the ancient cave of Cueva Dones where archaeologists have discovered a major Paleolithic cave art site, arguably the most important found on the eastern Mediterranean coast of the Iberian Peninsula. Over a hundred ancient paintings and engravings, thought to be at least 24,000 years old, have been found in a 500-meter-long cave in Cueva Dones, a site located in Miles near Valencia in Spain. The study highlights there are at least 19 confirmed animal representations including hinds, horses, aurochs and deer. Unusually, the majority of the paintings have been made using clay. Animals and signs were depicted simply by dragging the fingers and palms covered with clay on the walls. The humid environment of the cave did the rest. The paintings dried quite slowly, preventing parts of the clay from falling down rapidly. This discovery is truly incredible and reveals the secrets of an ancient culture that still fascinates us today. Thank you for watching this episode of the most incredible discoveries of September 2023. We hope you enjoyed learning about the amazing breakthroughs in science, technology, and nature that have been made in different parts of the world. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more amazing stories.